What is going on guys, Greggles TV. I wanted to make my news video before I left for Vegas and let's get right into it. The first one of the day is a huge story. Not huge only because it's big news, but also it's actually a big product. NVIDIA, as you know, I love NVIDIA because I love their NVIDIA Shield box, which is an entertainment box. They're coming out and they're also a huge gaming company. They're known for their graphics cards. Uh, anyway, they're coming out with a new gaming TV 65 inch 4K 120 hertz. This thing is a beast. Also comes with HDR PC, the HDR is PC tuned, so it's gonna be awesome for gaming. Also has G Sync in it, so this is gonna be the largest TV or monitor with G Sync built into it. And then, last of all, has NVIDIA Shield integrated into the TV. So, if you're looking to get, you know, some, a TV that has everything, uh, that's great for gaming, that's great for just basic viewing of content, and then also that has NVIDIA Shield already built into it, you gotta get this thing. Because NVIDIA Shield alone is two, $200 or $300, depending upon which version you get, and then you're gonna be able to game on this thing like crazy. You know, It's just gonna be an awesome product. Probably expensive though, so keep that in mind. Um, it's not gonna be a budget item. It will be, and it's weird too, because they're licensing this stuff out. So it looks like, I don't think they're gonna be releasing the product themselves directly, but it looks like uh, Acer, Asus, and HP will be uh, the first companies to release this actual you know, t gaming TV in 2018. We don't know exactly when, and we don't know the price. So those are the two big things that are keeping you know, things held back, but otherwise, looks like an awesome product something that people might actually want to get. And our last story of the day is about the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. The latest rumor coming out of this is that the S9 will have an aperture of 1.5 and the Galaxy S9 Plus will have an aperture of 1.4. Now, with why that aperture is a big deal is that it means it's gonna have amazing low light performance. That's gonna be the lowest aperture on any uh, cell phone ever, <laughs> ever. So you you're, you're already, there's been talk about the uh, Exynos processor providing excellent um, uh, uh, low light performance and this is definitely gonna enhance that at 1.5 and 1.4 respectively. It adds another difference between the S9 and the S9 Plus line, pushing the S9 Plus to really the top of the creme de la creme, something that everybody's probably gonna to wanna to get, especially over the S9. It's gonna have more RAM. It's gonna most likely, well, it might not have more storage, but it might have more storage, at least more storage options. So S9 Plus looking like an absolute beast. I cannot wait to try this phone. It might give no no eight uh, uh, users that don't use the S Pen a reason to actually upgrade this February, March, or April, whenever this phone comes out. So guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day, and I'll see you down the road. Peace.